Hey guys, a friend of mine saw my wildlife hatchet and he asked me about the paracord here. He said, uh, he asked me, is it mainly for close up work when you work like this? Uh, in this case, no. This wooden handle is very comfortable in, my, in, in, in hand and uh, I wouldn't need this. For extra grip, maybe it bulks up the axe handle a bit and I think it's more comfortable without. This is actually when you hit and you miss the piece of wood and it slams into your axe handle. So the axe handle doesn't get damaged. Um, so just uh, I think yesterday he bought this nice Fiskars X7 and he asked if I would wrap um, his axe handle with some paracord. I'm going to do that, but first, because another friend of mine asked me to do a video on this quite a while ago, I'm going to do it so you can see it. Now, I usually wrap it twice. I wrap it first time to see how much paracord I'm going to need, because usually it comes in a big spool, and I really don't feel like wasting it. So I'm going to wrap it once to see how much it takes, and then I'm going to wrap it up again, much tighter, with just the paracord I need. Um, it's much more comfortable to work with a small piece of paracord than with a large spool. So this is just going to be the test run and I'm going to show you how. Now, if you want to wrap an axe handle or anything else where you, you know you're going to use that paracord as a handle to improve grip, uh, you would want to wrap it pretty tight so it doesn't move up and down. So bear that in mind. Um, I'm a righty, so I would put the, this loop right here, but my friend, he's a lefty, so I'm going to put it on the other side. Alright, about wrapping the paracord tight, keep in mind that if it's wrapped really tight, it's going to be really difficult to pull this one, because that's what you're going to need to do, pull it, to cinch the last loop of the paracord with the other ones to make sure it stays there. So you would want to leave this a bit more, uh, a bit more paracord here. You know? Leave this a bit longer. Or use pliers if that's okay with you. I don't like to do that. I don't want to scratch the plastic handle. I mean it's an axe, it's going to get used, but if I can not do it, prefer it. So, um, you would just need to put this much paracord here, depending on how much you want to wrap. I'm, I said I'm, I was going to wrap about my hand. His hand is a bit smaller than mine, so about you know, here, maybe. So just put it here and then take the longer strand and go over. That's what I like to do. You can go either way, but I just like to do it like this. The first couple of loops are going to be, yeah, well, a bit more difficult to, to do because there's nothing really holding the paracord here. So, but once you tighten it a bit, it should go over smoothly. And you can even pull this side, uh, maybe neon yellow wasn't the best choice, but I hope it was. Um, you can pull it up a bit, just to tighten it. And then, all you need to do is cinch it tight, really, really tight. And you can just hold this in your hand and wrap it around the axe or do it the other way around hold this in your hand and turn the axe you know, and you can pull as hard as you want to um, I'll occasionally also just push it a bit so I don't have any gaps and now you can really pull this tab so it's just very, very tight. And that's all that's to it. I know there are probably better tutorials on this on the internet. So thank you for staying me this far. Um, uneventful until the end here, where you're going to slide this long end through the loop here. So I'm just going to try to get a bit, do it a bit faster, even if I'm not going to cinch it down that tight. A 
probably I'm going to use a different color paracord for his axe. I don't know if uh, he's crazy about the neon yellow. Um, personally, for me, it's just paracord on an axe. Uh, this is very, you know, it's really practical, so you don't hurt your axe handle. And should you need it, there's a bit of extra paracord. This is going to be about maybe two and a half meters of paracord, which I think is cool. You can wrap it even longer, you know, even a longer piece. Uh, but two and a half meters of paracord gives you good possibilities. I mean, you can make a spear with that. I've just seen somebody do that, you know, use it to a fasten uh, a metal point to it. Uh, you can saw something if you just have a, a needle. All right, so this is going to be the last wrap. I think this is even more than two and a half meters, about three maybe. I don't know for sure. And you'll just have to pull it this to pull this one through the loop. All right. And hold it tight here. Now, this is reasonably hard to pull. You cinch it down even tighter, it's going to be very hard to pull. And what you would like to do is pull it so hard that this last loop goes a bit inside you know <laughs> and this is gonna be tight so I must say uh, this handle is much thinner than the one on my wildlife hatchet so the paracord really really improves the grip here it's actually perfect for my hand uh, feels very safe so now you would like to cut this here and you can burn this or not. I won't burn it because I don't know what kind of plastic this is. I wouldn't want to melt it, but I will cut and burn this end just to keep it from, you know, cut it a bit away and then burn it so it forms a little knob here. So there's no way it's going to slip out. Or you can just pull it even uh, closer to the middle. You don't want to pull it all the way, but you can pull it closer to the middle and then you're sure it's not going to unravel. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for staying with me so far. I hope this was useful to somebody. And about the Fiskers, um, held this one, this one of these in my hand a while ago. I must say I like them. Uh, unfortunately here, they cost quite a bit of money. So, um, 30% more of what this one costs. I can get a, a Grants Force Brooks wildlife hatchet, and I did. So, no, but they feel really nice in hand. There's a lot of weight here. They do say on the warnings that you should not bend this to the side. So not try, don't try to um, hit this inside a piece of wood and then split the wood apart by pushing on the handle. I'm sure it would take it, but still, it's I like it. I really do. It's a nice little um, practical hatchet. The grip is not that good. You know, I, I do feel it sliding a bit in my hand. With the paracord, is great. But um, however, this long handle—it's—it's it's pretty long for the size. It's I guess it's a bit longer. My wildlife hatchet. If I'm just gonna put them. Yeah, well, not that much. However, it feels longer. <laughs> I do like them. Not my style, though. I prefer the, the wildlife hatchet. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope it helps somebody, and I wish you all a great day.